Okay, you can see the sidecar racer here has learned uh, a kind of a throttle policy. So it has two throttle points. Right there, 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 there. And the spikes indicate when the throttle, when the gas gets put on. And you can see Jobot likes it too. And you can see here what's happening on the on the track model. As the car goes around, it's being tracked. And um, at each track point that it knows, it applies the learn throttle setting. And when the car crashes, uh, the previous track throttle settings are punished by having throttle reductions. And after the end of learning, this is the policy it happened to have learned. Gas, 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 and that's it. Simple as that. <laughs> How is this track model learned? It's learned by driving the car around and collecting a histogram of events and then thinning that histogram and finding blind points along it. This is the work of Michael Pfeiffer to learn this beautiful track model which lets us find uh, where the car is in a linear position along the track and learn the throttle settings that should be applied at those positions in the track. When the, when the car starts running, it starts out with some default set throttle settings that are rather slow. After it manages to get through a couple of laps, it puts a bump of throttle somewhere, uh, it increases the throttle some, and when it sees that it successfully makes several laps around the track, it puts another bump of throttle somewhere else. You can see it's speeding up on the bottom part. If it ever crashes after doing one of these throttle increases, uh, it goes back to a previous generation. After about 20 laps, it's approached this level of throttle control where it's put the gas on at the bottom, at the top, and in this straightaway here. After about 50 laps, it's achieved this kind of performance. It's achieved this. After about 50 laps, it's achieved this kind of. After about 50 laps, it crashes.